So I just wanted to set the record straight on that, and that's coming from statistics, all right? Now, let's talk about Mr. O'Brien himself, his behavior. As everybody knows in this hearing, the last time <laughs> him and I kind of had a back and forth. I uh, appreciate your demeanor today. It's quite different. But after you left here, you got pretty excited about the keyboard. In fact, you tweeted at me one, two, three, four, five times. And let me read what the last one said. Um, it said... Greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard and long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been. Always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place... Any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Stop it. State Senator. Sit down. Oh, okay. okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Jim. it. Hold it. If Hold we can't, no, I have the mic. Said. I'm sorry. This is Hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. And God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not I don't make like it worse. Thugs and you, bullies. You have, and that's you have, I don't like you because you just described yourself. Yeah. Hold it. You have yeah. the mic. Yeah. You have time. All make right. Your statement. Then let's do this because I did challenge you and I accepted your challenge. And you went quiet. No, I didn't go quiet. I was. No, I was no, no, you no, challenged no. me to a cage match, no, no, acting no, no. like a twelve-year-old schoolyard bully. Excuse me. Hold, 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 hold it. No, excuse me. I, have I the will mic. say. I will say exactly. Senator what Mullen, said. I have the mic. You have questions on any economic issues, anything that said, go for it. We're not here to talk about physical abuse. You brought. We're not talking yeah. about. Of course, and, I did. And let me tell you, let me show you his hearing because I want to. I want to expose this thug. To who he is. And you don't point to me. That's disrespectful. All right. I don't care about respecting you at all. I, respect I don't respect you respect. at all. So all right, hold me, it. Let me, let hold me. it. No. You don't want to no, hold it. The most hold least it, please. Acted. Please. All right. This is a, excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is a hearing to discuss economic issues. All right. If you have questions for Mr. O'Brien or anybody else on what he has said, go for it. I mean, but we're not here to talk about fights or I'm, anything else. I'm quoting exactly what he said. You can and say what is, you want. This is, this, is your, this is your witness this you is brought. My witness. And let me, I'm, I'm exposing him you can ex as talk a person anything who he want. is. So right. in, 2013, no nope. in 2013, O'Brien was suspended by the Teamsters for intimidating your own members. In 2014, uh, you were um, part of, what would you say, organizing the harassment and intimidation of the top shelf crew? Chef, not chef. Uh, oh, top, oh, top, top chef, okay. And then, uh, and I think in the reports they said sexual r racist and homophobic slurs and death threats, 14 tires were sliced, and five Teamsters were arrested, and you said, well, I had nothing to do with it, but however, in that same statement you said, but if I get called to, to <laughs> test file, plead the fifth. This is, this is what, this is a witness you brought in here. In 2017, you were removed as lead negotiator by then President Hoffa for UPS for your actions. And then in 22, when this guy was elected, what he said after he got elected was he wanted to bring the mob mentality back to the Teamsters. This is your guy. And you're he, obviously going to give him he, a chance he, to respond can, to your oh, questions. Absolutely, absolutely, because this is my question. Because you called me out. I didn't call you out. Yeah, you, did. you said any time, any place. That's, That's that, that. Let's get the record okay. straight. Miss, hold it. No. Hold on. Mr. Senator Mullen, do you have a question for the witness? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's hear it. So, any time, any place. No, that's April, not. April is a charity event. No, for, that's not. That's no, not. No. No, it's a. He, no. Sir, we, he said it, and this is my. He is time, here so to tell. No. Parameters on what the questions can or cannot be asked, and I'll ask. No, you're not going to. We're not going to be talking about yeah, physical yeah. confrontation. Oh, this is about charity for a union charity, because this, this is, is firefighters. And do you have a question April, on his test? April. Grow April, up, April, please, April, please. You have grow a question up. You're on his. Let's not you be. You said it. You're an embar embarrassment. You said it, and I'm just simply answering it. You reached out Hold it. Hold it. Senator Mullen, you made some charges. Charges. Mr. Mr. O'Brien, do you want to respond to yeah, go the ahead, questions? Please. Yeah, I mean, look, the reality of it is, you Except know, my challenge Mr. Mr. Mullen, 
tough guy. Answer, yeah. hold it. Answer the questions. All right, you all want, if I, he, he made a lot of statements, right? And his statements are fiction at best. Fiction, I read them. Can you hear me? What? I'll answer the question, please. I can't understand him, to be honest with you. All right. He rambles so much. What was your question, actually? Except my, well, no, you said I made a lot of statements. No, but what's your Except question? I don't understand your question. Could you repeat it? You said anytime, any place. What's your question? Accept the challenge. What challenge? You said anytime, any place. I'm accepting yours, so why don't you come What back? challenge? What challenge are you talking April about? April 30th. How about we do it for a charity? At the Smoking Guns in Tulsa, Oklahoma. No, we're not going to be talking about physical confrontations here. You want to fight me? What do you say by any time, any place? Let's have coffee, discuss our differences. Oh, oh that's oh, what you said. Yeah, that's right, exactly. All right, well, let's say I don't have coffee. Let's I'd do it. To. All right. I'd love to. But the, it's funny how you're back. Okay. Out. I don't back on anything. You did. The other okay. one, you're a 100. Senator. Uh, should be the most influential people in this country making changes. Senator you're Senator focused on. Okay. You're Thank focused you. on Why debate that's not even relevant. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. After an embarrassment to the state of this hearing is yeah. about the condition of the working class in America. You That's brought what a we're thug I, in this You're the biggest thug here. You brought, you brought him in. All right, you're you're being, the biggest thug. Even look, your colleagues call you. Why you do what you're doing, Senator Hassan? Deep, Thank you very much, Mr. Senator Hassan, Chair. Senator question. Mullen, please yield. I've been recognized no, by the chair. Got, Act according. Uh, now, Act according is yours. Uh, Chairman Sanders, I want to thank you for this hearing. I want to thank Ranking Member Cassidy, too, for participating in it. And I want to thank all of our witnesses.